Yeah, hello. So today we're going to be teaching you how to create a custom uh, create a custom table and a uh, related list in the uh, visual first page. So let's start. So as usual we use the the APS page block to make it look nice. So then we have the, the APS, Apex Big Block section. So let's add the type to type to generate. So you can use anything you want for the type to based on what we are working on, projects you are building. You can use anything type to. So the Apex Apex Big Block section. So we have now added the standard controller. So we are adding the standard controller so that we can and export we can export the record to use. Today we are going to be using compact. My previous video we used the opportunity, but now we are going to use the compact. So let's continue. Let's add the effects related list that's the tag we are using to get the related related list from contact so we the first related list and we look at the related list we have case we have opportunity we have what we are going to be using case and case and opportunity so these are the two related lists we're using case and opportunity Let's add the, the case first. I forgot to add the title for the APS page block section and add the title. I'm using a related list because I'm creating a related list. So, can you use anything you want? Your choice. And I'll be using a column as well. Because I want it to look nice on the page. By default, by default, the column is usually set to two. So we already have our page. Then we preview it and uh, copy the record ID. So I wanted to know that. When you deploy this thing, it will automatically get the record ID. But since we are testing it, we have to copy the record ID and each time we want to, you know, see what we are working on. And voila, we have it. We have the related list. We have the case. I would like to copy the link so that I don't have to go back to the page, the Apex uh, open. I don't have to go back there and be copying the link. So we prefer doing it in another page. So let's, let's uh, work on another related list let's add the 
opportunity. So when we check the opportunity in the in the hog, remember the opportunity, the opportunity has no record. So I purposely intentionally left it like that. So that we can see it and see the way it's going to be showing it when we test it here. So what I just need to do is refresh. And voila. So there is no record. Since we don't have record in the record in the hog, we don't have record in what we are building as well. So the next thing we'll be working on is column table. I want to create the column the way yeah, I mean the custom table. Right, the custom table, not the column table. We are creating the custom table. So we're going to see we are going to be using the APS pit block table section. The APS speed block table. Create the Custom table. I mind you, I just like using the APS page block section. I like using it. it, makes it look um, neat. So, we add the value. So we, want to we want to create a custom table for one part. One part related lists yeah that related list and we are using case so so that we will not be using now uh, contact dot case dot the field contact dot case dot so we have to create a variable so we can replace that variable in place of Contact dot case. So I'm going to write in using the column press dot column and then yeah, I press dot column. we are going to be using this ca dot the field for the case we are going to check it inside the related list the case We are going to be using now uh, the case number and we are going to be using case origin as well. We save, save our code, we refresh, 
and we have the custom table we've just created we have it so we can add the we can make it look nice by adding title We can also add column. Let's refresh first. See, yeah, custom table. So let's go and add the column. We're going to be adding the column in the page block section. see an error out of this space out of the space in between the space in the column so let's save it again let me save it and then saving saving save it so this is how you create a related list and a custom table in Visual Force page. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.